Aria Helwani, post-match at Survivor Series in Brooklyn, New York, alongside Becky Lynch, who just defeated Charlotte Flair in the opener tonight. Your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions after that match, Becky? Um, I just did another interview there. And uh, I was saying before we went out, I got very emotional just because of the journey that we went through, that we were the best of friends and we've been through everything together. And when I went out there, I just wanted to rip her head off. I just wanted, I wanted to hurt her as much as I possibly could. And that's, that's a lot of emotion because I wanted to, I just wanted to maim her. I wanted to hurt her. And that's somebody who I used to be so close to. And I talked to you before and I told you about how this had gone so sour. And I don't think, I don't think it really hit me until tonight, how sad that all is. And we went out there and we killed each other and we hit each other as hard as we could. And we just wanted to, we wanted to hurt each other. And uh, I, I told her, I told her I'm the better person and she can't accept it. And so she's gonna go cry to her dad, cry to everybody else, but there's no denying it now. It started in Brooklyn and it ended in Brooklyn. Do you feel like it's over now? Well, unless she wants to try again, but I don't know how many times I need to prove to her that I'm the better woman. How difficult was it out there for you? <clears throat> um, like, like I said, there was a lot of emotion going in there. And she's strong. She is strong. She is so strong and she hit so hard. But there was, I, I just, I couldn't quit. I couldn't quit and I don't know if you saw when I was in that arm bar, I said, you, you better break it because I'm not tapping. And uh, yeah, it was hard. It was very hard. There's nobody that, there might not be anybody that hits as, as hard as Charlotte. And uh, yeah, to, uh, to overcome everything and win her. And it didn't matter how I beat her. I'm just glad I beat her. I would have liked to tap her out. I would have liked to tap her out. I would have liked to pin her. I would have liked to knock her out, but a win's a win. As far so as- I think I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. That you didn't make her tap. That I didn't make her tap, that I didn't, that I didn't knock her head against the canvas, knock her out that I didn't get the, the, the pin, that I didn't get the three count. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I got the three count, but it was, wasn't the way I wanted. As far as the buildup and the, the night itself, was this one of the more difficult weeks of your career? Yeah, I, uh, look, when you're, when you're going in with this much animosity, it's so much stress. It's so much stress because you're, you're, you have so much hatred and carrying around that hatred, that's hard for anybody. That's hard. And knowing that there's people out there that hate you as much as you hate her, as much as I hate her, and there's a whole team. She's got her fans, I got my fans. But that's a lot of hatred. That's a lot of animosity. And to carry that around for a full week and then her dad's coming at me, it's uh, the whole thing. It's, it was very stressful. And I'm trying to, trying to do all these appearances, trying to get my workouts in. But, but I was very distracted. I was very distracted the whole week. Do you hope that you can bury the hatchet now and move on and perhaps become friends again? or? Is that over? I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know it's possible. I don't know. I don't know that it's possible. I think it's a good thing that we're on different brands. I think let there, let there be some time in between this. I just wonder, I don't know that we can both be in the same business and be friends. I don't think we can both be on top and be friends. Last thing, did you say anything to her after the match? I said, go cry about it. I said, you can talk your but I'm better than you. I said a lot of stuff. I said a lot of stuff. I said a lot of stuff. There's gonna be some pyro. Becky, thank you very much. Congrats. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Amelia.